same Tinubu if you see, they are so hypocritical. You can imagine the same Tinubu team, of course, they are EPC members uh, who has called the uh, INEC to disqualify Peter B because he is seeking fund abroad. And what is this woman's name? Abike Dabiri came out and started warning or whether threatening the diaspora and warning them not to engage in such a thing that is illegal. And meanwhile, it now it's been exposed in 2014 for that matter. APC United Kingdom, they have their own uh, this thing there. They have their own group there. Diaspora donations to the Buhari campaign group. And they said we encourage people in the diaspora to pay into the Buhari support group account, which is First Bank. And they give the account number, okay, via www.awardremit.com. Um, it allows you to pay directly into Nigeria bank account by using your Visa, Mastercard, debit, credit card, or backlist, uh, ping it, and other payment platforms. The receipt account is credited in a matter of minutes. You can also pay via World Remit mobile app on the apple and android platforms word remit is also available to senders from over 40 other countries please share widely that was what happened and nobody called upon them or nobody even see you know looks at their face nobody even antagonize them the reason why they are calling INEC and they are raising those that to be should be disqualified because they are beginning to jit they are jittering already jittering already everybody can see it exactly what they do the same people will come and tell us that hey, oh i pop will be Igbo support i Igbo's are the one supporting will be that's a peter will be has a link with i pop and biafra and all of that and meanwhile they still have their own agitation going on in the southwest they will never use that we have a book around we can't even talk about that anybody coming from the north maybe it is not a yastic for people not to not say that say hey, oh yeah if you are coming from the north then you are not supposed to vie for any position because of all the terrorist group that we have there but when it comes to be that is when they will not be looking for one or two things one or two things you see how wicked these people can be they were able to scheme out Igbo candidates from apc and pdp and as fate we have it we have a a man from the southeast and that is why they are all jittering you see their life the same thing they are doing, that's how the things that they are going to be accusing people of. Now they, are, they will be accusing OB supporters of being abusive. And they are the ones who usually do that. They will tell you about social media. And they use social media so well that it brought them to limelight. And everything they are doing, they will be accusing other people of doing it. Can you see? They sought for donations in diaspora in 2014. Nobody talked about it. They were the ones who were... Well, they were always on the streets protesting before 2015. They were protesting, protesting. But now when they came to power, to protest is not a taboo. They will not tell you that a uh, hoodlum will hijack it. That is why they are trying to tell people not to protest. Oh, if you want to protest, you have to take permission, which is not in the law. These guys, uh, they are so, 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 so devilish. And that's why I always say, those who are always accusing people of one thing, go and check them. That is exactly what they are doing. That is exactly what they are doing. Though. But now, a lot of lawyers have come as to separate the candidate from the party. That the party does not have a right to see for fun. But as an individual, Peter B has the right. He has the right. Now they don't even know what to say again. What? Well, one thing is that a uh, hey, Kwakwansu went to Chinese TV and discussed Peter B. All of them are always discussing him, but he doesn't even talk about them. Now, now they remember law for Peter B campaign. Shameful country. Yes, now they, they want to enforce law. If you are not in their good book, that is exactly what uh, happens. But see the person that carry bullion for Koro for our very own eyes. They are behaving as if uh, they have mental problems. As if they don't know what is happening. But you can imagine if it were to be another person from opposition party, what would have happened? Now, what could have happened? 
if people like like good thing or good movements and decide to support it without being compared to or fund it or out of good how is that a problem or constitutional breaches by the way where is it contained in the constitution it has been it has been discarded i know they will not want to do that it is just out of jealousy just to discourage people they know quite well that that individual has the right to do that but just to quickly just to change the atmosphere but it's not going to work it's not going to work well it's a divine mandate his name is peter the key has been given to him and no force either on earth or beneath can subdue him it will be better if you all accept that uh, you are scared of what this man is capable of doing somebody said if your candidate is not seeking fund from people know that uh, once they get in there they are going to suffer because where are they going to get the money it is the same government the same government's money the same money from the government they are using to manipulate people all in the name of buy vote buying delegates and uh, 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 money that is what they do so exactly what they did they are now accusing people of doing the same thing i mean why they they solicited for fund abroad and you could see that they have a back account they did that but when it comes to another person's turn, it becomes a problem why did that people did not talk about uh, them soliciting even it was even a party that was even doing that if you check very well the progress in this country eh, is at its peak it's at its peak if you are a supporter of it will be and labor party may god supply all your needs according to his riches in glory obi has made other parties look like a joke yeah apc will not even rest because they have fallen and they are looking for way out that is why we are shouting change yes back uh-huh. <laughs> well if you as a lawyer know what you are doing you should have known that someone who have had criminal scandal in the past is not qualified to contest for presidency again someone who faked age and have no certificate is wrong number for presidential race be a lawyer with wisdom if peter b wins this election the victory is for nigeria youth because they are building a better future for our children to lead on <laughs> nigeria will be great nation in the world if only we come together as one forget about that that is going to be difficult that is going to be a difficult one do you know that it is not the masses that will come together it is the so-called leaders across the geopolitical zones but they don't want to do that because of their selfish interests because of their selfish interests so guys let's know what you think about this